And of course, we all pray and wonder if we will be able to get all those Americans out and, and also those folks who aided uh, our, our fighting men and women over there. I want to bring in now Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano. And, 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 and Colonel, uh, the post analysis on this, it's going to come, although it's hard to see where it made any sense to close our air base there, bring home the military before the civilians. Now, of course, right now, all eyes are focused on getting everyone home safely. What are your sources telling you? What's going on right now? Well, I, look, I just talked to a guy five minutes ago who has 300 people that he's trying to get to the airport, and he has no way to safely get them to the airport. And that's the third contact I've had today about these kind of groups. So people are desperate to find people who can safely conduct them to the airport. So there is, there is a huge pent-up demand to fly out of there. There are, air, there are planes sitting on the tarmac, empty, waiting for their passengers because people cannot find a safe way to get to the airport. So I don't think that we have, I think we've got a significant population that's still trying to get out and they won't get up. I mean, they won't all be able to get to the airport by the deadline. That, uh, that and, It's not a Taliban deadline. We came up with a stupid deadline of August 31st. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, and apparently they've hijacked it, though. Here's the perplexing thing. Uh, I'm not sure why we don't have a clear idea, a better approximation of, A, how many Americans are stuck over there? And also, I'm not sure if you heard yesterday, but we're starting to hear from the administration blaming Americans for hanging out in, uh, in Afghanistan and waiting too long. Yeah, well, this is, look, this is the, the problem with how Biden decided to bug out of Afghanistan. This was the no plan plan. So he, he thought that the Afghan, since he was gifting Afghanistan to the Taliban, that they would just let him lead quietly. And the whole idea was, is we would kind of move out and the Taliban would just sit there and wait for us to leave. And if we signaled to everybody that we were going out, then, then there would, you know, people would, would know that the kind of the jig was up and, and everything would accelerate. So not only did they, the idea was to sneak out, they couldn't have a plan because if they had a plan, people would have found out about it and it would have spoiled the no plan plan. And, and so they, had, they, in, they intentionally had no plan to alert anybody they were leaving. And then they forbid creating a contingency plan in case their no plan plan failed. So yesterday, President Biden did uh, briefly mention the economic quandary that Afghanistan now finds itself in. Uh, their ATMs are running out of money. Their currency hit a record low. How involved should the West be with should the West be involved at all? with any funding of Afghanistan, yeah. particularly the United States? Yeah, no. People have to understand, what do the Taliban want money for? They don't want money to reconstruct the country or build infrastructure. They don't do that. They don't care about that. What do the Taliban use money for? They use money to pay people off so they're in charge. So Western aid doesn't work for them because Western governments don't give the Taliban money to hand over to warlords or to pay for heroin cash crops. So there's there's no way that that our money is attractive to them as a tool of nation because they don't do that. They've got plenty of ways to get money. They can do it through transnational uh, drug activity. They could siphon it through China, Pakistan. For the West to give them money would simply be enabling the regime to tighten its control over the people of right. Afghanistan. Right. And we should point out that we spent $28 billion on, on armament, 600,000 rifles, machine guns, 76,000 light vehicles, over 200 helicopters. All of it's fallen into the Taliban's hands. Uh, boy, how formidable are they now? So much. Uh, thank you so much, Lieutenant Colonel Carafano. It's been too long. Always appreciate your expertise. Thank you, my friend.